Yo, what's going on guys? Skarner got a massive buff this patch disguised as an adjustment, when in reality, he's just insanely strong at the moment. He's currently the strongest top laner in the game by win rate. He's also the strongest jungler in the game by win rate. For your best runes possible, go Aftershock, Shield Bash, Conditioning, Overgrowth with Free Boots Cosmic alongside Attack Speed and Double Scaling Health. You generally want to clear off of your blue buff side. The Ability Haze helps out your clears a lot. First item will always be Heart Still, Sunfire, after that gets situational, but typically you'll pick up a jack show. Skarner clears are pretty fast as a whole, pretty healthy. His ganks are good. He's probably the, well, he's definitely the best tank jungler right now, especially by win rate. We're going to go ahead and auto into Q. After using Q, our next auto attacks are empowered with more attack speed, AOE damage, and then the third one drops a fat boulder. You can throw this boulder just like a Pantheon spear toss, but you never want to toss it unless you have to. So do keep that in mind. Tossing it, you can miss it. It's that simple. There's no benefit to tossing it other than the fact that it's more range. The range on the toss is a little less than a Lux Snare. The Q to activate it or to throw it, you have to stand still. So do keep that in mind. Cut it out. Our E can go through walls. It's very similar to a Nunu Snowball, but worse. It only stuns them if you hit them into a wall. But the fact that you can use it to go over walls makes it an insanely good escape tool. Or chase down tool if they flash over walls. Very good in that aspect. Boop. Boop. One more boop. We'll go ahead and E on over. We want to hit the big one right into the wall. WQ immediately. Your E does pause your Q. So you can lead in with the Q to kind of use up the animation. Since uh, obviously we don't need that animation. We can use our E's and auto reset if we're already close. We can auto raw in the E. So whenever we gank, we're generally going to Q first, then E towards the enemies. Just make sure we're close enough to be able to do that. So here, for example, we E on over. Oof, I actually missed it. <laughs> That's going to slow down my clear a lot. Normally on Skarner, you should be able to finish anywhere, depending on how optimized you have it, around 310 to 325. There are some really tight optimizations you can do that I personally won't recommend because if you mess it up then you're screwed so generally finishing around 315 to 325 you should be happy with we're gonna max our q first w second e last nothing ain't bought nothing really gank mid at the moment i don't think we'll go ahead and just get our q ready here it does start going on a cooldown from when you first activate it so uh we'll go ahead and e on over He's going to be over here. Skarner's solo potential is not particularly good. He's more of a ganker than anything else. Ganker and a clear. Get him with a WQ. We're going to throw it at him. He should lose his speed up because he's in combat, but he doesn't seem to be losing it. Boop. We woke him up. We'll get him with a W auto. Uh, I don't really want to ghost her down, push her into the wall. I do still have my ghost, though. I know her top laner is coming. It's just a matter of if he's going to be here in time. I have red buff. She has red buff. We pull out our Q. We get her with an auto. I'm going to hold on to the boulder throw. It's going to apply pressure to get them to juke. Just like a any skill shot. Like a hook or a mundo cleaver. Auto E auto. Your Q or your third auto or if you choose to throw your boulder. Basically your boulder is AOE damage in a slow. Our first item is heart still so there's not a big incentive to force it back it's not like we can buy boots because we have free boots and heart still doesn't speed up your clear really at all whatsoever uh yeah because it's just health i mean the health gives us a bigger shield it gives us slightly more damage but at the end of the day health is health it's not like building attack speed or 80. these bot side not much i can do about that since Garner does build very tanky and healthy, massive shred champions like Vayne are an issue for him. Max health damage champs like Lilia Burns, Brand Burns are pretty annoying. Go ahead and use our E. Uh, I didn't realize he was going to be on drag. I got to get over there. She's got a. Well, she is letting the dragon tank. Letting him tank the drag. She kind of wasted her bubble there a little bit. I don't have my E. We can throw our boulder over there, potentially. 
not a huge fan of this uh, situation. Got it. I smited it. We'll go ahead and eat this turd back into the wall. Bottom him down. Got aftershock on. He just got triumph feeling. That's really, really bad for me. He doesn't have red buff though, so I think I can shimmy my way out. We use W to slow him. Shield ourselves. We at least got dragon, so. I'm pretty happy with that. Blue's up in 30. I might as well reset. I can pick up Giant's Belt. And the Crystalline Bracer. Oops, bought two of those. Grab Oracle's E out of base. Your E does make you, like I said, it's very similar to New Snowball. It slows you down initially, but then you get really fast. So keep that in mind. If you're trying to escape, and you need, you need to get out instantly. Your E probably won't save you. You're going to have to survive for a little bit first. We can pull camps to us with our W. The range on it's huge. It's basically a Thresh auto range, roughly. An auto E. We missed it. Yikes. You have to be very particular about your E placement. Otherwise, it just won't catch like you saw there. Since we've been farming so much, we should be able to hit a pre-8-minute level 6 as jungle. Looks like he's doing this right now. He's just casually walking up to objectives and taking them. We're going to auto Q auto, hold on to the boulder, auto E. I think I hit the stupid Krug there. We're going to auto R, get him with the W, down he goes. R, R doesn't do much damage. Ultimately, it's not a whole lot. And you have to channel it. You can hit three enemy champions with it, but since it's a channel and a thin skin skill shot, you normally... Just want to stun them first or double slow them first before you burn it. Let's go through the wall, push her in, auto W auto. You get down the Q. So he gets off a decent amount of damage though. That's good. Zillion six, so I'm not really seeing a dive angle. Might be able to kill Yi in his jungle though. Nice, nice, nice. We'll take it. Mm, I'm just getting with a W and run. He's just going to take Gromp anyways. I think he's already gone. Yeah, he's already gone. This is not a good fight at all. We just need to keep pulling him towards us. Alright, we'll get him with the boulder. I mean, it's one for one. It's not pretty, but... It is still at least an even trade. We'll go for Zillion here, get him with the E, push him into the wall. We get him with the big boulder smash on our third auto. Oh, Kali, I didn't realize Lux had shut down. No, that is bad. Got her with the boulder toss there. We weren't going to be able to reach it otherwise. We do have Dragon at least. So we can play around that. I can afford Heart still, so I might as well reset for it when you start stacking up. Ganking bot lane's big because our Q's AoE damage, our W's AoE damage and slow. Our R is AoE, so our whole kit's really AoE to wear. Get her with the Q, so she's double slowed. We land the R, pull her into Draven. It's the only way to safely land R is if you land both slows first or you land stun first. Otherwise, in my opinion, Skarner's R is just legit worse than it used to be. <laughs> Give him his new kit minus his new R, and I think his win rate would be even better. So instead of like 55% right now, it would probably be 58. Because his old R is guaranteed. No no real counterplay, honestly. Which I think is reasonable. Like, look at a Malzahar R, right? Zero skill involved and it's ranged. I'm not a huge fan of this fight. I'm sitting on so much unspent gold. Since, Har since Skarner is a heart still abused character, one of the few in the game right now, since tanks as a whole aren't good, CC is what's good. We do want to camp bot lane as much as possible to get double heart stills off. Plus, we're a, te a team fight character, so dragons we could get even more heart stills and get the dragons themselves for our scaling angle. W range. It's so hard to get used to the W range, it's so much. Because the visual makes it look like it's really, really short, like an Alstar knockup, when in reality it's like the Jarvan W. We can go ahead and E over the wall. Ooh, I don't like this. We can curve it off nice and quick. They're all kind of mid right now. 
Oh, even E. I'll use W, slow him down, walk away. This W is so good defensively because you don't actually have to stand still. I'll throw the Q at him. Uh, that's annoying. I could go for Zillion over the wall from downtown, baby! I missed my R. That sucks. It is a true channel, so it can be canceled and whatnot. This is bad. Auto W auto. Got with the boulder smash for the slow. Ah, uh, Zoe couldn't quite connect. That's all right. We should get drag off that. I really wish they would increase Garner's E range. I feel like the E itself is somewhat disappointing. Go ahead and E on over. Get her with the boulder toss and a W. Down she goes. Shut down. That's huge. You normally don't want your tanks getting all the gold like I am here, but I feel like Skarner's strong enough to where, like currently, he's the, the only good tank jungler in the game since they just nerfed Zack as well. I'll be honest, I didn't actually look at the Zack nerf, I just saw he was nerfed, so I'm not, I'm not quite aware of how big it is. We could do this, I don't have smite, but it's doable. Well, Q max, W max, E max last, E per level basically doesn't get anything. Nothing that important. I'm going to go ahead and E away through the wall. We get him stunned. We'll ghost away. We don't want to leash the dragon for them though. Oof, they're all here. I don't like this fight at all actually. I say we just give this one. I'm too low. I don't even have smite. Oh, ye messed up his smite too. Shoot. This is just a weird fight. Yeah, I don't like this fight at all. I'm missing too much health. I shouldn't have started Dragon without Smite. It's too risky. Yi was willing to fight for without even having a full item. I guess he figured my teammates wouldn't be there. Throwing boulders is... <laughs> it's a funny ability. You can kind of think of it like an AoE Mundo Cleaver because it does have max health damage on it. And it is a slow, but it's AoE. The downside is you have to pick it up. The pickup is such a long animation, and then you have the throw, so it's two animations to really use it versus just a Moon Cleaver, which is just one. I'll go ahead and E onto this guy once we get a little bit closer because I want to dump him into the wall. And I actually missed him there, he messed up by doing that. Get him with the Q, auto into R. We had him slowed first, we'll pull him back a bit. Not a whole lot. Auto Q. Yes, he's actually kind of winning that. I at least get a heart still out of it, but... I really do think Skarner... He needs his old R, or they need to make it actually do something. A second and a half a CC for a skill shot ultimate is very bad, because it's a channel. They can just straight up cancel it on you. It's kind of wild. Just like they can cancel your E with... Anything besides the slow, really. I'd like to have his red buff. Red buff's big. Their bot lane's just taking stuff for free. We need Lux to come back. I can back it up. Uh, she's not doing a whole lot of damage to me right now for whatever reason. Got the smite. I'm gonna dunk her into the wall. Kind of, I kind of pushed her out of the Lux ability a little bit. I'll try to block him off. He flashes the auto Q. Get with the W auto Q. He's so tanky, man. It's it's insane. He's always flash for that too. She's gonna get herself killed. Whew, man, at least we got the red buff, I guess. Mm, my team's so magic damage heavy. I'm actually going to go in Abyssal second. Normally, you would never want to do Abyssal. I had enough gold for it, though. Only 2,400. It gives me more magic resist, and it takes away from the enemies. Lux, Mord, Zoe, magic damage. I have a little bit of magic damage as well in my W and R. Skarner's passive. My attacks... Shattered Earth Upheaval and Impel. So my attacks and abilities apply Quake for 4 seconds at 3 stacks. Quake makes the enemies take max health damage. That's why Skarner 
go as tanky. Has so much baked in percent base damage. There's no reason to build burst on him when he can already shred, even as a tank. Poppy is in a similar category where her Q does so much max health damage already that it's kind of awkward for her too. Like she can build assassin. It's super hit or miss though. I want to stack up some hearts still. I think they're going to be right here. He's not crazy strong yet because he's only uh, one full item. No clue where these guys are at. They're just all missing. Oh, there's someone right here. They're going to walk into me or walk into Lux. Someone's, all right, I'm going to go for Ash. I'm gonna skip the wall. I'm gonna ghost for it too. She needs to suffer. She must suffer how I suffer. Smite W auto Q. Throw a boulder on her head. Drags up in 25. A call is missing enough health. I think we can pull it off, maybe. If we actually bum rush it. She might actually stay for the wave, especially if she's trying to buy something. I might be able to stop her back. I uh, actually didn't even try to back. I figured she would for drag fight. She might not care. No clue what Moore just did. That was bizarre. He's kiting away from me too for whatever reason. Makes no sense. Push him into the wall. Q auto W. Boop. Drop a boulder on his head. <laughs> What a goose. Okay, he's dead. It's a no-brainer. Let's take a drag. Hmm. Waves pushed. Zoe's probably mad, but it is what it is. We were there first. I normally wouldn't do that. It's just me and Lux were there way before her, and she still chose to kind of run over there. Our R is up. We could do something with that. I feel like you should play Skarner when you have Malphite on your team. Someone to AoE hold the enemy still so you can hit a big 3 man R. The weird thing about it is there's so many big AoE R's in the league, whether it's a Hecarim R, Malphite R, or Mumu R, that are considerably easier to land. While simultaneously, they're more effective when landed compared to Skarner R, which is extremely tedious and inconsistent to actually land. Drave needed to let me tank. He's dead now, one for one, while wasting some, while wasting flash. Oh, he's gone. Oh, nice. Got him with the boulder toss, get him with the W. I'll take turret for a hot second. Zoe needs to get the heck out of turret though. Let me grab it. There's the heart still, not bad. We'll take it. Lux needs to get Mej and some AP. Our team's not going to have enough damage. Zoe's going to die. Draven's going to die really fast. So Zoe. And then it's just going to be me and support Lux. I need elite. We're at two drags. We're playing for soul. I'm a little worried about yeast scaling though. We'll use Q for the attack speed bonus. 40% on our next three autos. Smash them wards. Yeah, Quake, Skarner is passive. It's, it's just kind of random. I don't know. It feels completely disjointed to his kid of being a tanky Scorpion that him hitting you randomly makes you take max health damage. It doesn't make sense to me. I was really excited for the Skarner rework as a whole, but I feel like it really missed the mark. The coolest thing about the change is um, his E, honestly. Being able to kind of crawl through things or over them is kind of nice. And gave him some mobility that he desperately needed. Hey, Master Yi, I want some heart still, buddy. Alright, he's kind of running away. I'll get him. 
Maybe I won't actually. <laughs> Gragas is there. I just realized our mord's zero and six. Good lord. I'm gonna grab him with my R. Down you go, Mr. Yi. I'll ghost this down. We might be able to get a Kali, honestly. I literally can't get to her even with my E and ghost. Holy moly, dude. This champion might have better mobility than he used to have, but it's... It's not enough sometimes. The E needs more range as you get points into it. I'm going to flee here. This is when it's honestly best is defensively, not even going to lie. Like, offensively, they just move away from you. They can usually get out of the stun range. But defensively, being able to go over potentially multiple walls is kind of nice. Nine percent max health damage over its duration for three seconds. So they're taking about three percent max health damage per second. So if I hit them three times, they're taking three percent max health damage per second, roughly. That's pretty. That's okay versus tanks in particular. Against a squishy, it's not going to be that impressive. Uh, Jack's coming up in a minute. I've been doing a lot of farming. AFK blind farming. I've been looking mainly just on the mini map to see when the pictures are most pleasing to me. Iceborne is hecka spicy. I've delayed Sunfire longer than you would normally want to. Normally you'd go Sunfire second 8 out of 10 games. It's only because my team's so magic damage heavy and the enemy team zillion uh, Akali, Gragas, even Ash are so much magic damage. But normally it would be Sunfire second, then third situational. Well, we need to do something here. This is what needs to get done so we can win drag fight. Oh, he's trolling. This guy's on autopilot. It's late at night. He just wants us to end this, his suffering. Thank you, Master Yi. So people don't realize, like, let's pretend he was playing well this game. That mistake he just made is going to cost him third drag set us up for soul. All it takes is one mistake to ensure your fate. We're going to get her with the slow into R. I had her double slowed off of W and Q. I also had her slowed to smite, I'm pretty sure, at the beginning. Only way to land it. But here's the thing. If I had old Skarner R, I could have R'd sooner, and she wouldn't have been able to flash it. Or dash it. Let's pretend she had a dash in her kit, right? So that's the thing that's weird to me. It's like, yeah, Skarner is as a whole better than what he used to be, but his R is so much worse. There's way too much counterplay. Because even if you stun them into a wall, second and a half stun, your R is a second and a half. The, even if you are have insane reaction to stun into R immediately... If they're spamming their flash key, they will be able to flash out before your R is able to grab them. So, that's what's kind of weird about it. There's too much counterplay to play against Skarner, I think. WQ auto. Auto Q. Ooh. I'm still tanking turret. Yeah, dude, he's still stunned. And this is bad. Auto, oof, I got him right into the wall at like the perfect time. I might die to Ash though. Got the slow on Ash. Lux just has to kite it. We'll get her in the wall, auto Q auto. Nice, all right, not bad. I need to leave though. I don't know who else is over here. Guess it could just be Zillion. I'm getting a lot of mana back being in jungle. I might actually be able to fight this guy. Let's try it. Auto WQ auto. Throw the boulder out at his forehead. Man, he's so slippery. Report Zillion. I guess Zillion rage quit. That's hilarious. I still think we would have won regardless. Because we have the dragons. I also don't think Zillion is particularly good against our comp. I'm so tanky. And low damage. Uh, like basically I don't see what Zillion R is really going to do. Like none of us have to truly overcommit to get it out of him. Like 
Zoe and Lux can throw all their nonsense from a distance to where even if Zillion R's, it's like, okay, it's not a big deal. It's not like Zillion R'ing a ZR or a Talon R or a Kali R to where the enemies truly lose something. Nice. We're going to E ideally out of vision while still being close enough to land stun. Could get her up against that wall there. The range on is just pitiful. And with the W auto, I don't want to press R because he can just move out of the way real quick. Someone needs to hit this dude. <laughs> Like, another thing about the old Skarner is you could literally spam Q on the enemies while you have them R'd, right? You can't do that anymore. The only thing you can do is press W, which isn't spammable at all. So, if I R them, I essentially can't do any damage. Like, sure, my R does a tiny bit of damage, less than an 80 carry auto. But then what? So yeah, Skarner is really good right now because of his consistency, but if I wanted to climb, let's say, 70-80% win rate or whatever, this would not be the champion to do it with, unless you're duoing with somebody who's going to play uh, like Riv and Jax, Vayne, just a massive, massive, massive hyper carry. Because this champion just doesn't... He doesn't have the damage, even if you're playing him perfectly. That was something that made that makes Zach kind of special. Zach, if you do land everything, he can kind of one-shot squishy. Skarner, if you land everything, he's like, come on now. What are you doing? He's full build after that. He got so much gold. He has to die first. Somebody gave him a reset, and then he ended up killing Lux off of it. Mm, they're doing Baron. Yee is fudging tanky now. I just saw his health. Yee is really tanky. I'm going for Ash. Suck a fat one, Ash. Auto Q auto. Doesn't seem like Skarner can really be slow during his E. Just like a new, new snowball. It really is a copycat ability. We have to kite him out. I missed my R on him. That's horrible. This is bad. W auto Q. Yeah, my R, man. I <laughs> Give me back the old Skarner R. Come on. Ye, he's dead there if I had old Skarner R. Instead of this slow channeling skill shot garbage. Got my wall stun. Give me the freaking hit, man. Auto Q auto. Down he goes. Draven's going to get tapped out. Got him with the WQ auto. Boop. What a game. I'm going to go for drag soul. I don't think I can take it fast enough, though. <laughs> Ash is going to come mess with me. Jack shows really good for Skarner. We have a big shield. Shields interact with uh, armor and magic resist, so... Lasts for two and a half seconds. It's roughly four and a half second ability. We can almost keep it perpetually up. They probably figured, oh, Skarner is so much potential CC. Because if you grab someone and you push him over long distance while your teammates are hitting them, it's extremely oppressive. Like you saw with either, I grabbed him for a while and then dumped him. So they probably figured that's why they could scrape away so much power away from his R. It's just too inconsistent for my taste. I think Scar is strong enough right now to where I would just ban him because I don't feel like playing against it. But for me, he's not quite worth playing because I want to carry at a higher level than what this champion can currently do. Got Lux. Oof, Mr. I said Lux, but I was trying to say Ash. I almost had Ash with my R. She has really long auto range, though. It's like 600, I think, or 625. I forget. Uh, Ash is still alive. This is bad. Yep, 
Yeah, we're immune to slows while we're on our E, which is kind of cool. Oh, I got wrecked. Is anyone going to kill Ash? All right, cool. I could go for Sunfire. Mm, I wouldn't mind having a Thorn Melt. How many times I'm eating auto attack? I hate Thorn Mel as an item, but... In these rare cases, can actually be worth... I'm starting to wonder if a big reason why Skarner's win rate is so high, like it's obviously because he's consistent, but a big reason is just people don't know how to play against it yet. I think he'll drop to just being a top 10 instead of number 1 once people kind of figure out how to play against it. Because as is. Can't say I'm particularly uh, impressed. Main thing I haven't been doing this doing this game is using my Q into E. I haven't done that a whole lot. It's something you should try to do some uh, some more than I've been doing, because your Q goes on cooldown from when you first cast it, so it is pretty beneficial. Straight into Ash, Auto W Auto, Auto R, nice. I'm gonna run this rat down. All right, that was kind of spicy. That's GG's, we'll take it. Whew, so we got damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, somehow we had the most dealt in the game. A little surprised by that. For damage taken, we took the most on our team, not the most in the game, feels bad. And for self mitigated, we took the most by a lot, easily enough to make us take the most in the game if you do count self mitigation which in generally I do count for runes pretty good value on all Skarner his win rate speaks for itself he's the highest win rate top lane and jungle champion in the whole game he's the highest win rate champion in the whole game uh, if you're looking to hyper smurf turbo boost climb with the win rate above 56% that doesn't sound like a lot but uh, that's just the reality of it. Realistically, in League these days, if you're climbing above 56% win rate, that's considered incredibly good, uh, sadly enough. But uh, yeah, if you're looking to do that, I don't think he's the right champion. But if you're looking to climb with a 50 to 55% win rate, he's definitely the best champion for the job at the moment. I do think he will be nerfed heavily coming up next patch to a point to where he won't even be playable. They, they don't have much they can do with his kit is the thing. His kit is is um i mean it is what it is we'll see if you guys enjoyed the skarner video don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time